For a long time I think people have been aware that um, the high street was in need of a bit of an uplift. This scheme was originally um, installed in the 1970s um, and we've been hearing from people who talked about it at the time. It was quite a kind of bold scheme. There were very bright yellow umbrellas all down the street and I think in its time it was thought to be you know, pretty kind of state of the art. Clearly now it's not. It hasn't aged well um, and it doesn't represent Taunton at its best. The other reason why it was urgent to do something here is because of the trees which have completely outgrown their planters and are undermining the drains below the, below the pavement. So rather than just take those out, we wanted to think about what else could go in. So today is very much about asking people what else should be part of the scheme and what should go forward for the future of the high street. We, want, we wanted to break up the, the pavement areas, huge areas of paving, so we came up with the idea of carpets as a, as a way of creating spaces, a kind of welcoming area. So we chose artists who we thought fitted in well with that theme. So we've got four artists, some, some of them using very traditional techniques like drawing with, with pens on paper or on board, and some of them using um, digital technology and um, creating a more kind of abstract idea of a carpet. We wanted people to express themselves in whatever way they could um, and tell us what they wanted to see happening here in the high street. We're drawing on a map of the high street and basically what we've got here is a drawn out map of where we are now in the high street. This X is currently where we are outside Hatchards. That's Crying Walk which is just down there. And what we're doing is we're asking people to draw what they would like to see on the high street. So we've had some things like a play park so far, some trees, some flowers, lots of colour which is good. Some very enthusiastic people that wanted to draw, uh, draw several things which is great. If whilst they're drawing they say, oh yeah I would like to see XYZ, it's a way of breaking the ice. Oh, yeah. so, uh, some of it might be a little bit uh, surreal but that's, that's good. It'd be nice to see some uh, some live music. Um, maybe not just buskers turning up, but maybe something a bit more organised, or like a um, you know where they have certain days and times they play kind of thing, or, or even an open mic where there's a, a small stage. And I've seen that in other communities, um, and it well received. I mean, it'd be nice to at least give it a go here. I'm going to be making a large jigsaw puzzle with the help of the members of the public. So we've got 160 of these lovely blank jigsaw pieces. Uh, and then just with pens, people are going to draw things that they uh, would like to see in the high street or things they already like about the high street as a sort of document of what could be done in the future. interesting actually there's some very strong themes that lots of people are saying they really like the trees and they want to see more trees coming back but many people also recognize that the old trees weren't the right type so they're wanting to see a variety of smaller fruit trees and all sorts of ideas about community gardening and some of those may be possible some of them won't be but it's very it's very good that people are thinking creatively imaginatively about ideas for using this space seating is another thing that people are very interested in um, some of the seating, unfortunately, has had to come out in the short term, but we want to make sure lots of new seating goes in and that it's the right kind of seating, that it's the right height for elderly people to use or disabled people to use. In the Orchard Peso, they just put um, little tiny stone, stone ones. Well, I, um, they're so low. I, they are quite low. Yeah, I, I can't, because they're uh, from my back, I, I can't get down. So. Um, what's really exciting about arts events like today is how many people get involved. People who don't normally take part in arts activities are here today. We um, have got a really good response and they've um, all taken part and they've um, really enjoyed doing things that they wouldn't normally do. It would be really nice to see more events like this happening on a regular basis in Taunton High Street.
Throw away of course, and every time they come on the high street in the future, they want to get on yeah, the board. Yeah. Well, if they could just redraw this, and this could be their suggestion for the future of the high street as well. Yeah. But I think but it's quite clear that a lot of people are really engaging with it. Yeah, like, because it's yeah. interactive. Yeah, they yeah. actually feel part and of the operation. Yeah, yeah. The public like to be involved in their locality. Who wouldn't want to be involved? And they were able to to express that in different art forms. Now that then helps us to interpret the master plan, to put together the master plan for the high street and to understand what the high street will look like in the future. They're having a real opportunity to express themselves and to have that delivered at some point in the future, starting in January. Uh, another important one is about access for cycles. Lots of children and, and adults as well want to use this as a route through the, through the park and then onto, onto work or, or shopping or to school and at the moment that's prohibited so we really want to see if that can get changed. The town has a problem with traffic, it makes really good sense for people to be on their bicycles and want to make it easy, easy for them to do so. Well, the idea I've come up with is about optimism. So it's about using bright colour on a grey pavement. We're asking them to write down the way that they would like the high street to be redeveloped onto reflective coloured sticks, which we're then assembling as a street carpet. We've got comments from children about how this could be a more child-friendly space. So, for example, games, even swings, you know. Also, we've had uh, comments that you might expect about, about trees and greenery and seating. Comments from parents about pushchair friendly, places to wait. Uh, one guy just wrote down to make the space more eccentric, which I think is, is a nice idea. I think that's my favourite. Definitely a feeling, I think, in the high street that there isn't enough information. We've had calls for more, more information, not just about the buildings, but about the businesses here, about the markets. Uh, so I think that's a challenge to look creatively about how we reduce the amount of clutter. There's lots of notices around from businesses and put, make sure that information that people really want is clearly visible. One thing that's really important is there isn't a clear sign saying that it's the high street. Um, so that definitely needs to be addressed. But a lot of people have said that you really need to look up when you come to the high street in order to really appreciate it and appreciate its history and um, a lot of the features are, you know, if you look at ground level it looks like a high street and then you look up and realise how old it is and how amazing some of the buildings are. We're collecting ideas of what people like at the moment about the high street and what people would, also what people would like to see in the future. So we're, a lot of this is architectural features, people are really keen on the, on the trees or the greenery. Um, and they're pointing or taking their own pictures, pointing to us to take pictures or taking their own pictures of, yeah, of things they like, really. And I'm incorporating them onto a, onto a projection and onto a screen in the window, kind of a hodgepodge of images that will give a feel of the high street as people would like to see it, really. Well, I mean, it's, for one thing, it's more the medium that I work in, so it's something I'm more familiar with, but I think it's quite nice for people to be able to people who maybe don't feel as confident or as able or as willing to get a pen and paper and draw something, they can take a picture and feel maybe just feel more confident with that as a medium. So the entire thing at the moment is about three and a half minutes and it's kind of a photo montage with some pieces of film involved as well. to do is, is look at all the ideas that have come up. There's a, a good degree of consensus already on some of the, uh, the ideas, so um, we'll review those and the sensible suggestions hopefully we can incorporate into the, uh, into the final design proposals. For me it would be absolutely fantastic if the market were bigger, if it could be extended further up the street, it would certainly bring more pedestrians here and I think all the businesses, both the fixed ones and the ones that come here on a temporary basis, would all benefit from that. 
personally, I feel that Vivery Park isn't promoted enough. And, you know, being the main walkway and through fare from the town to Vivery Park, I think it would be, you know, a huge bonus if, it, if that could be promoted to, to visitors to the town. After today, we'll be writing up everybody's comments um, and that will, that will form a document in its own right. We'll be displaying the artworks that have been created and inviting people to see those. Um, and we'll be producing um, a report, hopefully quite an interesting report, that lays out what the potential is for the future.